Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is April 27th, 2020, a little after midnight. And this morning, upon awakening, I was hearing the words, you've all warned, just like Paul Revere. And then I saw President Trump's face. So I shared this with a sister, and she was led to send me the last paragraph of this poem. Just kind of popped into her spirit. So I'm going to read that. <clears throat> so through the night rode Paul Revere, and so through the night went his cry of alarm. To every Middlesex village and farm, a cry of defiance and not of fear. A voice in the darkness, a knock at the door and a word that shall echo forevermore. For, born on the night wind of the past, through all our history to the last, in the hour of darkness and peril and need, the people will waken and listen to hear the hurrying hoofbeats of that steed and the midnight message of Paul Revere. And a sister in Christ, Lashara Pinckney, sent me this video because um, of a dream that I had a while back. And I'm going to play the video I did connected to this after this video that I believe is a time marker pointing to right now. So here we go. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'm trying to keep this short and lighthearted because for me personally, this is pretty scary. This is not far from my home. Um, actually, it is in a parking lot at a state that my son used to attend. And uh, this is a testing site. So I figured we'd take a little field trip today and check this thing out since it's technically closed. And I just want to see what it's all about here and what they've got going on as far as the signage. And it's pretty scary for me personally because um, this is kind of stuff that I've seen in movies for a long time. People have seen in visions and dreams to a certain extent. But anyway, you have all the cones set up here. And then they want you to have the please have ready registration form ID and insurance card. So apparently they want to charge your insurance for this. Okay. And I don't think they've set it up yet, but as I entered, it did have a sign that also said event. So basically we just have some tables, some fans, some fire extinguisher. It's always a good thing to have. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. So basically we have these white tents set up. Looks like there's three of them from what I can tell. Not much, and I don't know when this is going to open. I know that when I passed this the other day, it's the first time I've actually gotten into the parking lot to check it out. But when I passed it the other day, they had a sign up that said that it was closed due to uh, the weather because we've had a lot of rain lately. But anyway, yeah, it's a huge parking lot. Like I said, it's for a state college. So uh, they've got the... The cones all set up and uh, the signage out. Stay in your car. Oh, there's a good sign. I like that one. Stay in your car. Nothing draconian about that. But uh, yeah. So I just figured we'd take a little field trip here. And I'm, I'm going to keep this brief because I need to uh, go take care of something here. But this was on my way to doing what I needed to do. Yeah, there you go. Stay in your car. Nice. And I noticed it's the Advent Health, the Seventh Day Adventists are sponsoring this. Isn't that nice? All traffic. Okay. Testing. Stay in your car. So I have no idea when this is going to open up. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is an area I'm very familiar with. Like I said, it's not far from my house. And uh, I've, uh, 
I've actually taught my kids to drive in this parking lot, <laughs> and at least to park, parallel park, and just, uh, wow, crazy times, crazy times. Um, anyway, uh, I don't really have anything else to report too much. I mean, people can watch the news for themselves. They can look at YouTube. They can look at the internet. I did post some interesting things. Here's another, stay in your car. And here's another, uh, I did post some things on uh, the community page earlier that I suggest people must, or people must, <laughs> I'm reading this sign, people might want to look like windows must work. Hmm, that's interesting. Windows must work. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, if you want to check out Israeli News Live, Stephen Benoom, he put out a really interesting interview, or not interview, video. He did an interview, too, with June Knight from uh, We Are The Bride, T.TV, W-A-T-B.TV. But this particular one he did was, uh, was one he did on his own regarding the measures, the end game, basically, you know, the, the, the agenda, what's next on the agenda. And really what it boils down to is uh, they pretty much want to make sure that we're no longer Jesus freaks, that... Uh, they, there's a vaccine out there, there's a way, there's a measure to, uh, you know, inject people to make sure that you can kind of change their brain function into not being so religious and not having such fanaticism in your life. And don't be a Jesus freak or whatever it is. But originally, I think it was meant for uh, Muslim extremism, Islamic extremists. But... Uh, I think they're going to change the tune a little bit on that, but you can check out that video yourself if you like. I posted it on the community page. Just go to Israeli News Live YouTube channel. Oh, nothing on that sign. And uh, yeah. the other one was from uh, Call for an Uprising, where it's basically talking about the doctors, which was, I thought was kind of humorous, and you know, but it also made a lot of sense. Um, so those are the two that I would recommend, but I post a lot of other things as well. And of course, things are really heating up in the South China Sea with, uh, you know, Australia and the U.S. and China. And who knows what's going on with Kim Jong-un, see, state college, classrooms, lake hall, library, student services. That's the way it used to be anyway. There's a nice lake there, pond and this building over here is when my daughter was younger. We used to go to her dance recitals in that building. So, yeah, a lot of memories in this area. It's pretty sad that it's a COVID testing site now, but I guess it is what it is. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and get going. There's really nothing else to say. Uh, really nothing else to... <laughs> I mean, what can you say? I mean, this is, this is the new normal, right? This is where we're at now. Oh, okay, here we go. Registration and testing lane one and lane two. Okay, I kind of see how they're going to set this thing up. I wonder when it starts, because I didn't see a date, a start date. But, uh, yeah, so I just figured, you know, take a little field trip today. You know, you, if you want to, you can let me know what's happening in your neck of the woods, you know, like that fake weatherman, Mr. Potato Head, Al Roker, you know, says, uh, so, but, uh, anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and get going, but, uh, hope you guys have a rest, <coughs> good, blessed rest of the weekend, evening, and so forth, and, uh, I guess something real pertinent, I'll let you guys know, but I uh, just wanted to show you what's going on in this area. And, uh, yeah, feel free to, to, you know, post whatever you want to about what's happening in your area. Um, this kind of took me off guard as I was driving by the other day. I'm like, what the? <laughs> White tents everywhere. I know what that means. And uh, cones all set up. This isn't good. I wonder how many sheep are going to come do this. All right. I guess with that, I'm out. Yes. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Let me see what this is. Oh, this is just the exit sign. Yeah, exit, exit all traffic. Okay. All right, have a good one. Bye. Okay, now I'm going to play the video of the dream I had. 
One second. This was a month ago. There we go. Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is March 21st, 2020. And I had a dream on March 19th of 2020 that I wanted to share with you all. So here it is. I saw a straight line of traffic cones on a road in every color of the rainbow. A man was there and he was saying that no one could enter where the cones were. So it was kind of like on the other side of these cones was like something like a danger zone. And then suddenly our puppy, Grace, took off running towards the traffic cones. And she ran right towards the white cone and she knocked it over on purpose. Then I said to this man, see? Grace still won. And as I was waking up from this dream, I heard the song by Corey Hart that I haven't heard in like forever. Never Surrender, playing in my spirit. So we are saved by grace through faith. We then have the Holy Spirit and the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The cones were the colors of the rainbow. That's God's promise, his covenant. Those in Christ Jesus aren't appointed to God's wrath. We won't be going through the cones where the really bad stuff is happening. Grace knocked over the white cone. I looked up what white traffic cones are used for, and they are used for equestrian sports events and valet parking. So we will not be here for the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Our cone, the white cone, is our exit out of here. It is our entrance to the rapture through Christ Jesus. Grace knocked over the white cone on purpose. God's grace will save us just in time. We are not appointed to God's wrath. I said to the man by the traffic cones, see, grace still won. So no matter how bad things look right now, we are still going to be raptured just in time. So hold fast, brothers and sisters. Jesus is coming just in time. So then I heard the song, Never Surrender Upon Awakening in My Spirit. So I'm just going to end this video with the song. So I just wanted to share that with you all. I really believe that that dream I had is pointing to right now with these COVID testing station things with all the cones. So I believe that the Lord was showing me, because my puppy Grace can't run right now, as I'm sure a lot of you know from the other videos I've done with what's going on with her. So it was kind of like a layered dream, like, Grace is going to win because she's going to be running. Pointing to the time of the rapture because she won't be able to run for a while even if we go ahead with this other surgery. Um, and it's also pointing to what's happening right now with this these COVID-19 testing stations. So the Lord could be pointing to the nearness of the rapture because that dream is coming to pass with these cones they have set up with these stations right now. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and I hope it encourages you to keep looking up and don't fall into fear. God is faithful and he keeps his promises. And he is coming just in time to save us and deliver us. Keep your eyes on Jesus, not the storm. I love you all. Hold fast.